shall lead my clan through these chaotic times. During the end of the later Han, the land was in chaos due to the power struggles that had erupted within the Imperial Court. In addition, repeated natural disasters and poor harvests had aggravated the suffering of the people. In this period of turmoil, a man by the name of Zhang Xiao appeared. He began to teach the way of peace in Ji province and brought help to the common people winning their hearts almost immediately. Then, in the year 184, he rises up in revolt against the Imperial Court. His yellow turbans rose up in every district across the land. History would later refer to this as the Yellow Turban Rebellion. The Imperial Court unsuccessfully tries to suppress them, but is defeated. The fate of the 400-year-old Han Dynasty is about to be decided. <clears throat> we are up against 300,000 yellow turban rebels. Many of them are mere peasants, but that doesn't change the fact that we are greatly outnumbered. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> It sounds like an impossible task when you say it out loud like that. It seems the built-up rage and frustration of the people have finally boiled over. Sun Jian. He was said to be a descendant of Sun Tzu and served as the patriarch of the Sun family. His skill in battle led him to be known as the Tiger of Jian Dong. He possessed tremendous loyalty to the Han Dynasty and helped raise troops in order to quell the Yellow Turban Rebellion. My lord, this is not a situation to make light of. Come on, guys. Battles are not fought on numbers alone. These rebels don't stand a chance against us. Okay. If you can take on about a third of them by yourself, we should be set. Unless you're out there, it's easier said than done. <sighs> Cheng Pu, there's no need to be so glum. We accepted this challenge because of the odds, not in spite of them. It is our goal to help the Imperial Army and protect the Han Imperial Court. The Sun family is the spear of the Han. It is times like these when we are needed the most. Besides, I have a strong feeling that we cannot lose this battle. How can you be so certain? The Soon family has many brave and powerful warriors in its service. Chang Pu, Huang Gai, Hang Dong. I am counting on all of you in this battle. <sighs> you really know how to make us feel wanted, my lord. I'll say, when he puts it like that, you can't help but get fired up for the battle ahead. There you two go again. Looks like I'm going to have to be the one to keep you both in line. We'll be fine, Master Cheng Pu. Huang Gai and I can take care of ourselves. Anyways, I hear that Dong Zhuo has set up camp at Guangzhou with approximately 50,000 Imperial troops. Dong Zhuo. He has made quite the name for himself in Liang. Our first move should be to meet up with him. I hear that Dong Zhuo is more like a wolf in sheep's clothing. Master Sun Jian. We should be cautious when dealing with him. Haha. <laughs> Thanks for looking out for me, Chiang Pu. Okay, it's time to go. Huang Gai, raise the call to march. At once, my lord. Everybody, prepare to march in the name of the Sun family of Shandong. Our claws and fangs are gonna rip the enemy to shreds.
This rebellion by the Yellow Turbans is a sign of the people's frustration. As such, are we morally justified in suppressing them? No, I must not show any doubts. It will only lead to apprehension amongst the men. I must focus on the task at hand, taking out the Yellow Turban leader, Zheng Zhao. <laughs> Yellow Turban Rebels lies before us. This should be a good workout before the main battle. Let's go! We must... Last one of the enemy. against the yellow turbans, and heaven will strike you down, like this!
might get in the way of the yellow turbans. In that case, you'll have to deal with my quick feet and my strong arms. I've got to get out of here. Fast! We made it at last. Is that Dong Zhuo? Huh? Who are you people? I am Sun Zhang. I have brought 1,000 men to join the fight against the Yellow Turbans. You're the one who has the nerve to call himself the Tiger of Zhangdong. You just stay out of the way, all right? Um... Actually, we were hoping to fight along the front lines. That will not be necessary. You're free to observe if you wish. Why would we want to do that? What are you, a bunch of imbeciles? Don't you get it? 
The Yellow Turbans have a vast army. There's no way we can beat them with only this many troops. But we are the Imperial Army. It is only right that we crush such an uprising with superior numbers. Until the court realizes that and gives us the men we need, I am happy to sit here and waste time. And if the court doesn't realize that? We will cross that bridge when we come to it. But if you really want to fight, I won't stop you. Feel free to take out a few peasants. Just make sure not to get in my way. I understand. For the time being, we shall deal with the rebels along the periphery. Well, that was a bit awkward. Just what is Don Zhuo thinking? I guess he kinda has a point. We're still outnumbered, so there's little use in picking pointless fights. No, I think Dong Zhuo has other reasons in mind. Hmm, he is willing to ignore these various skirmishes in order to conserve his own troops. Why would he do that? The way things are going, the Han is likely to fall, leaving him alone on scale. I can't believe that somebody would do such a thing. So that's Don Zhuo's real purpose for not attacking. He's a villainous scum! My lord, we can't just let him get away with this. No, we don't know for sure that it's true yet. Furthermore, we can still use his inaction to our advantage. We can lead the enemy vanguard to him. He is hoping to keep his army intact, so he'll feel threatened by this sudden encroachment and have no choice but to fight. Therefore, we'll be taking the battlefield to him. We can take advantage of the confusion to slay Zheng Zhao. I see. That's quite the plan you've developed there. Although I think you might be even more devious than Don Zhuo, my lord. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Finally, this battle is about to get interesting. Lord Sun Jun.
You there. I see the truth. The failing power of the dying. It's time for a new generation to take over. The new will always replace the old. I'm sure many skilled new faces will appear. Ah, Lord Sunjian. You have some fine sons too, so I hear. I look forward to what these tiger cubs will achieve. Get on in here! anything. Please take this. Are you come and face us if you dare you yellow turban cowards my name is soon jiang and i'm here to claim the head of your leader jung jiao we'll reel in the yellow turban forces we must dispatch the enemies in front of us in spectacular fashion <laughs> going to attack us here. Everyone prepare to defend this spot.
to get someone's attention. They're too strong. Call in more allies, quickly. Okay, it's time to lead these enemies straight into Dong Zhuo's camp. We'll use the distraction to slay Zheng Xiao. It seems there are others who think the same way I do. Hmm. Who are you? Dong Zhuo is unwilling to move. So you're bringing the enemy to him instead. That is definitely one way to change the course of this battle. We shall help you. Allow us to draw out the yellow turban troops. Um... Thank you for your assistance, but who are you? I am Cao Cao. We are here for the same reasons you are. Ah, I've heard of you before. You've made quite a name for yourself. Huh. Now that you know who we are, you could at least return the favor. Forgive me. My name is Sun Jian. Hey, I've heard of you before. You're the Tiger of Jiangdong. We've come across a really interesting group here, my lord. Hmm. I am looking forward to seeing the military acumen of the mighty Sun family in person. Haha. <laughs> I look forward to exceeding your expectations. You should report back to Dong Zhuo for now. I have a feeling his army will be seeing action soon. We'll be there as soon as you've made your preparations. I understand. Thank you for your advice, Lord Cao Cao. Oh, you're back already. Tell me, how are the yellow turbans looking? They... Lord Dong Zhuo, we've got trouble. The Yellow Turban forces are on their way here. The Yellow Turbans are attacking? Then we have no choice. Everyone, advance! It seems the course of this battle has changed. I guess Master Cao Cao has held up his end of the bargain. Everyone, this is the chance we've been waiting for. All units, head for the enemy main camp and slay Zheng Xiao.
in here. Excuse me.
Welcome, welcome! Time to slay the ruler of the yellow turbans, Zheng Xiao. We shall show them the strength of our forces. <laughs> Observe, this is a miracle. Bes Thank you. just appeared out of nowhere! I must say, we really did well out there. to take the attack to the enemy.
charging forward. Seems the enemy doesn't know strategy. Everyone, make them pay the price. That must be Master Sun Jian's army. Their vanguard looks to be stretched rather thin. We shall offer them our assistance. Now, take defensive positions. That area is too good for the enemy. It'll be put to much better use by us. Our target is that parcel of land. Prepare to move.
can't stop us. Observe the perfect formation of Lord Jiang Zhao. You dare attack us head on? The height of foolishness, as you'll now see. Quite an impressive formation, but it will have a weakness somewhere. in our defenses. We will hold them off and wait for our chance to strike. We must strengthen our defenses. We will hold them off and wait for our chance to strike. Right. Tighten our defenses. Don't let them get any closer. through the enemy formation thanks to our reinforcements. You are fools to challenge the tiger!
Cease your vile behavior, yellow turbans. Don't you know your place, vermin? Mm. You're already dancing in the palm of my hand. My traps will lead you to ruin. Leaving this place undefended is dangerous. I shall see to its defense. An amazing display of skill. If there's anything you wish, name it. The heavens have decreed. My time is up. Maybe continue to smile with kindness upon my brother. Who do you think you are? Disregarding my orders. My plans have been ruined. Fear! The tiger of Zhongdong! You are fools to challenge the tiger! Over. Now is the hour of the yellow turbans. Observe, infidels, the miracles wrought by the heavens. Gah. We can't fight this strange power. Someone, anyone, take out Zhang Xiao. Heavens, bestow upon me the terrible power of ice. Our target has been determined. You won't stop Lord Zhang Jiao. He is the one who will save this world. Be Zhang Xiao. Know that the tiger of Zhang Dong has come to claim your head. Ignorant beasts of the Han, do you really believe you can slay me? I have been given the blessing of the heavens themselves. The Han court has devolved into a den of iniquity, a seething sewer of human decadence. Can you not see the abuse of power that brings suffering to the people? The day of the Han is done. Now is the hour of the yellow turbans. Listen to the will of the heavens. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. Objective has been decided. All units, forward! Attack us! 
here. Everyone prepare to defend this spot. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate them. This land in which our comrades, our mates, suffer. The heavens will never allow it to stand. Zhang Zhao, head of the Yellow Turtles, has been defeated. Justice prevails. We did it! We managed to win the battle! It is like Sun Tzu said. Speed is of the essence in overcoming obstacles in battle. Waiting for an opportunity and quickly seizing it was the secret of our success. You are most impressive, Master Sun Jian. You did it, my lord. This should quell the various uprisings around the land. Will it? I can only hope that things go so smoothly. Hmm? Is there something troubling you even after our victory? Zhang Zhao wasn't wrong when he said the rebellion was due to the failure of the Han court. Until that changes, new rebellions will simply rise up to take its place. I believe Dong Zhuo realizes the same thing. Indeed, the Han faces many threats from both outside and within. Everyone, keep in mind that the chaos will not be quelled as easily as this rebellion. In that case, we'll just keep fighting until it is. Besides, the longer it goes on, the more chances I have to make a lasting impression on people. Well said, Handang. Of course, I don't plan on letting you outshine me, though. We shall demonstrate the strength of the Sun family to the land. And if the age ventures towards chaos, we shall be there to right its course. It is imperative that we consider all of the possibilities going forward. However, we should take the time to rest and celebrate this victory. Ha <laughs> ha! You make an excellent point, Cheng Po. Thanks again, everyone. <laughs>